Hello friends, this video on cell part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now once cell was discovered over time, as I said, many scientists discovered many other details about the internal structure of cells, about the various parts or the various uh, uh, functions of the cell. So many other things got discovered with time. So there came the cell theory. So a complete theory came up on cells. So some of the advancements which happened in terms of the discoveries were something like this. In 60, around 1665, Robert Hooke discovered cell, the story of which we listened in the last slide. Again, after a couple of years, I mean, after quite a couple of years, Robert Brown discovered nucleus inside a cell. So nucleus is again another very prominent structure which is present inside a cell. So obviously it is smaller than the cell because it is accommodated inside it. But it plays a very very important role. We will talk about nucleus as we go ahead. So this was discovered in 1833 quite some time after cell was discovered by Robert Brown. Later a couple of scientists that is Clayton and Squan around 1839 they proposed a theory called cell theory. So this cell theory uh, described quite a few points regarding the cell regarding the cell regarding the properties of cell so quite a few points were coupled together to give this theory called cell theory again after a couple of years in 1855 there was a scientist called virchow and virchow gave some modifications to the existing cell theory which was earlier given by Sclerin and Schwann. So Virchow made some modifications saying that cells arise from pre-existing cells. That means new cells they will arise or they will come originate from already existing cells. So these were some of the advancements in the field of cell. So let us quickly look at the cell theory. What exactly is cell theory? So the cell theory said that cells are the structural and functional units of life because as per the microscopical studies also it, it was found that the entire body of the living organism were made up of those small compartments called cells. So obviously it was the structural unit and also later it was found that the functions which are performed by a living organism, they the base of those functions were actually performed by the cell. So the cell was the functional unit as well. So that was the first thing which was proposed by cell theory. Next was all organisms are made up of cells. Now without exception all living organisms are made up of cells. Now any organism which is not made up of cell will not be defined as a living organism. And that is why you remember in one of our previous lessons while we were talking about viruses I told you that we do not really count them under microorganisms. That's because they are not made up of cells and that is why viruses are termed as acellular. Other than that, you talk about any other living organisms, they are all made up of cells. All cells arise from pre-existing cells only. So cells cannot rise on their own or cells cannot come out of their own. So whatever cells are existing from those cells only, new cells will be formed. So these were the three basic points given by the cell theory. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.